So in this video, I want to discuss IP addresses with you and show you how to protect your IP address online. So the first thing we want to do is go to the normal browser in Kali Linux. So let me just minimize that. Go to Iceweasel, which is the browser within Kali Linux. And I want to go to whatismyip.com. And once here, it's going to show me my IP address of this machine. This is an IP address of this particular machine. You don't want to be scanning anyone with this particular address. You want to be very cautious to protect yourself online. So make sure this is not visible. We will need some additional applications, one being called Tor. And I'm going to get that now. And I'm going to type in apt-get install and I need the installer for Tor so installer I'm sorry it's supposed to say install let me just go to install and then type in Tor so once that's done if it's already installed it will tell me that it's already there right now it says it's already the newest version but if you haven't got it pre-installed you will need to install this before anything else. So once you've got that in place, Tor is installed. Now we type in service Tor start, which will start the Tor service. Once that's started, we type in netstat to see if this service is running. netstat nut p, and that will tell me all the uh, active internet connections available on this PC. The first line tells me that Tor is already running. So that's good that it is running. So now we want to just check the proxy chains. So let me go to this proxy chains file and where we can install different proxies within that particular file. So I'll explain all that now, but let's just go to proxy chains.conf. Once I go to that file, you will see that I can use the nano as well to edit this file. And notice how there's dynamic chain. A dynamic chain allows me to basically, if I have a list of proxies, it will basically take one at random. So every request that I send will be from a different, through a different proxy. And that's the way it works. So that's how you can set it up. So that way you are protected that every request is potentially coming from a different proxy. Now we've got strict chain. Obviously there's lots of different things here you can do. This will be a strict chain. So it'll be depending on the exact proxies, it will work one by one and request in that specific order. So here under DNS, I would suggest that you put in the proxy DNS entry if it's available. So if you do have it, make sure you use it. Now, if I scroll down a little bit more, you will see at the bottom of this page is this line which says SOX4 with 127.0.0.1.9050. That's the default setting for Tor. So if you have any other proxies that we'll show you in a second, you will just paste it at the bottom of this line. And that will help you with proxy chain setup in this particular file. Now let's just go to the, let's see what I can show you now. So yeah, as you can see, this is running and that's definitely working. So we good to go for that particular Tor setup. We've already seen the setup of the Ice Weasel browser, but let's just go back to the browser using proxy chains. So I type in proxy chains, Ice Weasel, and that will open up the browser with proxy chains. And hopefully proxy chains will then give us a new IP address. So let's just do that. Notice the browser's opened up. Let's go in and type in whatismyip.com and this should give me a different IP address. Oh, it's giving me 
the same IP address. And the reason for that is I most likely have had the browser still running before I set up proxy chains. So let me just close everything down. Let me close the browser. And if I close the browser, I will restart that. So let's just close the browser completely. And now when I type in proxy chains, ice weasel, that should fix that up. So let me close all the options. Let's type in proxy chains, ice weasel. And let's just see if this is fixed now. So let's wait for the browser to open and notice now if I type in what is my IP and let's see what my IP address is. Notice now my IP address is 45, 56, 90, 85. So obviously the other one had 100 and something. This is 45. It has changed my IP address. So proxy setup has worked. Now I also want to show you a few other things, which is where to get proxy server addresses from. So notice how the Tor is actually using these different IP addresses to send my requests through. The worst thing that can happen is you are detected by the hacking victim or security department or your ISP. So you don't want to run the risk and that is why we use something like Tor. Now, proxy chains enable us to hide our IP addresses quite nicely. Just be cautious though, packets sent from your computer will have your IP address included in it, so you want to protect yourself. You can add more proxies by going back to the proxy chains conf file, and as you scroll to the bottom, you can add more proxy here. Now, the way you get more proxy addresses is you can go back to a browser and type in hide my ass.com. So I'll just type that in here. And when I go to this page, there are some good proxies available here. A list of proxy servers are available and they keep them fairly up to date. So if I scroll down, you will see a list of IP addresses for the proxy addresses. So I can select all countries, select your specific country. I can select ports. I can choose the protocols, anonymous levels. Uh, I just want SOX4 and SOX5 because it's only for command line interface. So I don't need the HTTP. So SOX4 and SOX5. I need the anonymity to be at least from low onwards. Everything else seems okay. So let me go and do a search, update results. Once I update the results, you'll notice that all the list of IP addresses are here. So IP addresses and ports and the location. And how you do that is where it says SOX4 and IP address and the port number, you would look at the list. I'll just show you an example. So I would take the IP address here, use this port, and I'll use SOX4 as the connection. So that would make the list populated. You can add more IP addresses and just keep going and keep adding more IP addresses in there. So now we've seen how proxy chains are used with the uh, Ice Weasel. And basically, command-wise, all you need to do is type in proxy chains and the program that you want to run. And that's as simple as that. So proxy chains, Ice Weasel would open up Ice Weasel with proxy chains. And if you're using Nmap, we type in proxy chains, Nmap, and that would enable proxy chains in Nmap as well.